First, there was Dominion. Then we got Dominion with masks, Dominion on ships, Dominion with vials of poisons and potions, Dominion for the one percenters, Dominion with horns full of bounty, Dominion on the unexplored banks of rivers, Dominion without reading or writing, except for the reading and writing on the cards. Then we had Dominion with friends. Then we had Dominion 1980 Kids on Bikes edition. Then we had Dominion in Castles. Dominion in Your Nightmares. Then we finally got Dominion with Thoughts and Ideas. Then we got Dominion in A Rich Person's Zoo. And now, finally, we have Dominion with Friends. And that's what we're going to be unboxing for you today here on CoraxandCoffee.com. Join me at the table and let's see what kind of friends we can make in the 14th expansion of Dominion, Dominion Allies with Friends of a transactional, relational nature. All right, we've got Dominion Allies here. This is an expansion. This is not a complete game. You do need the base game, or one of the base games and Allies. We've got the uh, contents there. This shrink is very reflective. So let's open this up quick. back of the box you have a uh, contents list 400 cards and so on and so forth All right so right away we're hit with the uh, Rio Grande games little catalog here very cute and we are hit with uh, punched out favor boards and six of them for up to six players and these are just I think a place to put your favor tokens which is a new type of currency in this uh, Dominion expansion and as with all Dominion expansions the quality of the components is <sighs> fine at best um, you know these cardboard uh, mats are as thick as they need to be. They could be thicker to feel nicer in your hands. Um, you know, same artwork, set of, if there are any liaisons in the game, put out one ally. Um, there you go. Here are the rules for Dominion allies, which are, oh, here we have, um, actually we'll come back to this. Um, here, got the contents, preparation, Allies, split piles, durations, and then we've got uh, kingdom card notes, notes on each one of the cards. Game, split card notes, um, more notes, allies card notes. Um, so you do have an itemized illustrated components list to just spread out along among the notes in this game. Um, notes for all the allies and then you have recommendations here for um, having distinct piles of cards for different types of games um, and then you have um, you know recommendations for card piles for all the other expansions in Dominion um, if you're familiar with Dominion you know that uh, rules are really not that hard to get through you can get through new rules in 10-15 minutes um, maybe 20 depending um, and then you can just kind of, most of this is just kind of uh, card rules references um, for rules clarifications if or when you need them. Okay, um, so here are all of the cards. Um, and if any of you are familiar with Dominion, um, I'll put these aside for a second. Um, what happens is you have tons of piles of 10 cards each. And then you have this little insert here 
um, which um, gives you, tells you where to put all of the different cards in alphabetical order, basically, um, or very close to alphabetical order. Um, the only exceptions being kind of places for other types of cards, which, I mean, the, the cards that are alphabetized here are in alphabetical order, and then they have you put treasure and randomization cards kind of in different places. Um, and then you have them, you can just kind of pull whatever you need. This does mean, however, that you cannot store Dominion games sideways. Some games you can, some games you can't. Dominion, if you try and store them sideways, cards go everywhere. So um, we'll actually put this to the side. And here are your tokens, which, you know, these are metal tokens and they have some heft to them. So it's really, it's, I mean, the Dominion has always done their tokens um, in, um, I mean, Rio Grande has always uh, done their uh, tokens in, for Dominion in metal rather than cardboard or plastic, which is beautiful. They're just small, <laughs> um, just smaller tokens, but they do have a nice amount of heft. So really no complaints there within the context of Dominion. So now we have all of these cards. I'm gonna open these up. Yeah, Dominion is kind of holding this knife here ominously, but uh, Dominion um, wrap cards are pretty easy to get open, so don't actually need the knife for that, which is nice. Um, just put all this plastic to the side here. Hey y'all, it's me again. Um, it was me before, but I thought we would take a break from just my hands so you can look at my face, which is unfortunate because there's really nothing quite so embarrassing as my face, but there's also nothing I can do about it. So, um, I actually have something uh, kind of special to show you. It's a promotional card for Dominion that nobody has uh, but me and my family, um, because my brother actually made this promotional card. Um, normally I would show this to you maybe after I'd showed you all the cards for Allies, but once I've shown you all the cards for this expansion for Allies, we'll basically be at the end of the video, so I'm going to show it to you now and kind of step on my own toes. So, here it is. My brother made this card called Falderall, and there's a little picture of my family at uh, Christmas uh, being goofy and silly like uh, we're wont to do. So I'm going to read uh, to you what Falderall does. Plus two, uh, I'm going to say it is a uh, cost four money and it is an action uh, duration reaction card. And uh, what the text actually says is plus two cards, trash a card from your hand. At the start of your next turn, you may trash a card from your hand. If you do, plus one card. Um, when another player starts shuffling uh, his discard pile, his, her, their, it, its uh, discard pile back into their deck, uh, you may trash this card from your hand. If you do, plus three cards, and you may trash a card from your hand. Whew! So there's a lot to this card, and like I said, my brother just made it kind of as a joke. Um, but yeah, you can make your own Dominion cards and balance your game any way you want to. And so this is just kind of uh, Falderall. Falderall meaning foolish, uh, foolishness or silliness or general rambunctiousness. I didn't look up the exact definition of the term before I shot this piece of video. But this word, Falderall, it's a real word. You can look it up. Um, and it's kind of an inside family joke when my siblings and I, 20 years ago, were being rambunctious and my dad said, stop all this falderall, and we had no idea what the word meant at the time, which made us be even more raucous, and so, again, inside family joke. But it turned into this cool Dominion card, complete with uh, 10 cards that you actually can play in the game as a kingdom, as a kingdom pile, and then my brother also made the randomize a card with a slightly different back. So just kind of fun family story about Dominion. Let's get back to the unboxing of Allies. Okay, so, um, let's, how do I want to go through these? We're just gonna, you know what, we're just gonna take these as, as they come. So, 
Specialist, which, which is an action card which costs uh, five to buy. You may play uh, an action or treasure from your hand, choose one, play it again, or gain a copy of it. All right, it's the Specialist. Swap, plus one card, plus one action. You may return an action from your hand to its pile. To gain, uh, to gain to your hand a different action costing up to five. And it costs five, it's an action. Sycophant. Plus one action, discard three cards. If you discard at least one, plus three money. Um, when you gain or trash this, plus two favors. And this is an action and a liaison. Um, so the favor is the new mechanic in this expansion. Um, and I know, I will say, we're going to be talking about uh, Dominion Allies as an expansion um, uh, in podcast season three, episode one, I want to say, is the plan. Um, so stick around for that. Stay tuned for that. I should say town. Choose one. Uh, plus one card and plus two actions or plus one buy and plus two money. All right. Got some flexibility there. Underling. Plus one card, plus one action, plus one favor. Herb Gatherer. Plus one buy. Put your deck into your discard pile. Look through it and you may play a treasure from it. You may rotate the augers. Don't know what that means, but this is an action auger, so it gets rotated. And you only have uh, four of these rather than ten, so this is a special action pile, we'll say. Acolyte, also an auger. You may trash an action or victory card from your hand to gain a gold. You may trash this to gain an auger. Sorceress. Attack auger. Plus one action. Name a card. Reveal the top card of your deck and put it into your hand. If it's the name card, each other player gains a curse. All right. Sybil. Plus four cards, plus one action. Put a top card from your hand on top of your deck and another on the bottom. Got some magical people here. Battle plan. I like that artwork. Um, plus one card, plus one action. You may reveal an attack card from your hand for plus one card. You may rotate any supply pile. Action clash. All right, Archer. Each other player with five or more cards in hand reveals all but one, then and discards one of them that you choose. Attack, action, clash. Warlord. This is a duration card. Duration, attack, clash. Plus one action. At the start of your next turn, plus two cards. Until then, other players can't play an action from their hand uh, that have two or more copies in of in play. Territory. This is a victory clash cat card. Worth one victory per differently named victory card that you have. When you gain this, gain a gold per empty per empty supply pile. Oh, interesting. Tent. Plus two money. You may rotate the forts. This is an action fort card. When you discard this from play, you may put it onto your deck. Garrison. Plus two money. This turn, when you gain a card, add a token here. At the start of your next turn, remove them for plus one card each. Hill Fort. Action Fort. Gain a card costing up to four. Choose one. Put it into your hand or plus one card and plus one action. Stronghold. This is an action victory duration fort card. Wow. Uh, choose one, plus three money, or at the start of your next turn, plus three cards, and it's worth two victory points. Old map. Plus one card, plus one action, discards a card, plus one card. Discard a card, plus one card. You may rotate the Odyssey. So you have action Odysseys too. Oh my goodness, there's a lot going on here. Alright, so we have an action attack, which is the Barbarian. Plus two money, each of your player, each other player trashes the top card of their deck. If it costs three money or more, they gain a cheaper card uh, sharing a type with it. Otherwise, they gain a curse. 
right? We've got 10 Barbarians. And then we have Baubles. This is a treasure card worth, you don't know. Choose two different options. Plus one buy, plus one money, plus one favor this turn when you gain a card. You may put it into your deck. Broker. Trash a card from your hand and choose one. Plus one card per money it costs, or plus one action per money it costs, or plus one money per money it costs, or plus one favor per, per money it costs. Okay. This guy will hook you up. That's the point, I suppose. Capital City. Plus one card, plus two actions. You may discard two cards for plus two money. You may pay two money for plus two cards. Carpenter. If no supply piles are empty, plus one action and gain a card costing up to four. Otherwise, trash a card from your hand and gain a card casting, costing up to two more than it. Contract. Uh, it is worth two money and plus one favor. You may set, it aside, set aside an action from your hand and play it at the start of your next turn. All right. Courier. Plus one money, discard uh, top card of your deck. Look through your discard pile. You may play an action or treasure from it. Emissary. Plus three cards. If this made you shuffle or at least, at least one card, plus one action and plus two favors. Galleria. Plus three money. This turn, when you gain a card costing three or four, plus one buy. Guildmaster. Plus three money. This turn, when you gain a card, plus one favor. All right. Getting through these here. And, uh, okay, so then we have um, wizards. This is the uh, one of the randomizer cards, so we'll save that. And then we have a whole bunch of allies here. We're gonna save those for now. Then we have more randomizer cards. Then we have more ally cards. Then we have more randomizer cards. Ally cards. Randomizer cards. And okay, so let's actually. These darker blue cards are you know uh, single copies of all the cards, so you can randomize decks simply in Dominion if that is something that you choose to do, rather than uh, going with their recommended uh, decks. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick and make sure I got all of them. I think I did. So let's just kind of put those together. Now we can go through these. Um, oh, we have more old maps here. We've have done those already. Um, Voyage. Plus one action. If the previous turn wasn't yours, take an extra turn after this one, during which you can only play three cards from your hand. Okay. And uh, this is an Odyssey card, so you only get four of those. Sunken Treasure. Gain an action card if you don't have a copy of it. it gain an action card you don't have a copy of in play. All right. And Odyssey, so you only get four of those. Distant Shore, also action Odyssey, victory Odyssey card. Plus two cards, plus one action, gain an estate, um, and it's worth two victory points. Town Crier, choose one, plus two money, or gain a silver, or plus one card and plus one action. You may rotate the townsfolk. Okay, and this is a townsfolk card, so I only get four of those for some reason. So have to go through the rules. Uh, blacksmith, choose one. Draw until you have six cards in hand, or plus two cards, or plus one card and plus one action. Miller, uh, plus one action. Look at the top four cards of your deck, put one into your hand and discard the rest. Elder, 
plus two money, you may play an action card from your hand. When it gives you a choice of abilities, for example, choose one, this turn you may choose an extra different option. All right. Student, plus one action, you may rotate the wizards. Trash a card from your hand. If it's a treasure, plus one favor and put this into your deck. Conjurer. Gain a card costing up to four. At the start of your next turn, put this into your hand. Sorcerer. Plus one card, plus one action. Each other player names a card, then reveals the top card of their deck. If wrong, they gain a curse. Um... Oh, I, uh, I missed some of the randomiz randomizer cards there. I apologize. Um, we've done Sorcerer. Lich. Plus six cards, plus two actions. Skip a turn. When you trash this, discard it and gain a cheaper card from the trash. All right. Now. Got this other deck of cards here. So we have Highwaymen, which is a duration attack. Um, at the start of your next turn, discard this card from play and plus three cards. Until then, the first treasure each other player plays does nothing this turn. All right. Hunter, plus one action. Reveal the top three cards of your deck from those cards. Remove an action, a treasure, and a victory card into your hand. Discard the rest. Hunting for cards with the Hunter. Importer. At the start of your next turn, gain a card costing up to five. Setup. Each player gets plus four favors. Innkeeper. Plus one action. Choose one, plus, choose one. Plus one card or plus three cards, then discard three cards, or plus five cards and then discard six cards. Okay. Card advantage card right there at its almost finest. Marquee, plus one buy, plus one card per card in your hand. Discard down to 10 cards in hand. Wow, I mean it costs six, but th this is, these are my people right here. This is card advantage extraordinaire. If you can get one of those, you are cooking with gas. Merchant camp, plus two actions, plus one money. When you discard this from play, you may put it into your deck. Modify, trash card from hand, choose one, plus one card and plus one action, or gain a card costing up to two money more than the trash card. We've seen this mechanic before in other expansions. Plus one card, Royal Galley, plus one card. You may play a non-duration action card from your hand. Set it aside. If you did, then at the start of your next turn, play it. So it's kind of turning uh, non-duration cards into a, a delayed card or type of duration card. Look at this big mess over here that I'm gonna have to clean up. Sentinel, look at the top five cards of your deck. You may trash up to two of them, put the rest back in any order. And last but not least, we have Skirmisher. It's not actually last, we have more to go. Uh, plus one card, plus one action, plus one money. This turn while you gain an attack card, this turn when you gain an attack card, each other player discards down to three cards in hand. Woo! Yikes, all right. So now, um, like I said, um, we have the, just the randomizer cards, um, which most people will be familiar with, um, but um, this is just uh, one card of, of each, essentially, so you can kind of create your game, showing you some of these upside down, but those are just included in every Dominion game and expansion. Now we have the allies. Are these gonna be all right side up, or did I screw this up? Ah, oh, nailed it, nailed it, all right. So I'm just gonna go through some of these here. Um, League of Shopkeepers. I'm not gonna read all of these here. They're a little bit harder to read, um, unfortunately, because of what's below here. And I'm gonna let you discover some of these on your own, um, just for fun, rather than giving away the entire farm pantry 
dominion. <laughs> See what I'm doing here? I'm adorable. Um, peaceful cult, okay. Um, wouldn't believe it even if I did see that. Um, Trapper's Lodge, Woodworker's Guild. Um, you can pause this if you really want to read some of these. Family of Inventors. There's going to be no drama or uh, competition there, is there? Maybe they all work together. Fellowship of Scribes. All right. I get what they're doing here. Forest Dwellers. So there are 23 of these ally cards, and there are more here for you to discover on your own. And you probably thought we were done, but we're not, because um, in my copy of Dominion, I also got this little bonus pack. And I don't know if this comes with everything, um, every set, but I do want to kind of open this up here and see, see what we got going on. I have no idea what this is or why this is included. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Um, maybe they forgot to put this in the box, or if this is a bonus. But this pile starts the game with five copies of Sana on top and five copies of Avanto. Only the top card of the pile can be gained or bought. Okay. Avanto. Plus three cards when you play a Sana from your hand. Alright. And then the Sana is... Plus one card, plus one action. You may play a Bonto from your hand. While this card is in play, you may play a silver. When this card is in play, when you play a silver, you may trash a card from your hand. Okay. Interesting. Don't don't know what that's about. Um, hopefully you get these in um, your copy of Dominion Allies as well. Um, that is everything I have for you in this expansion. Oh. This is a lot of Dominion. Let's see if we can just slide this over ever so carefully. Whew. Don't know if there's going to be more Dominion on the way. Um, but what I will say is that there are other Dominion things. There have been promotional cards that have come out between 2008 and now. There have been little card booster expansions like this, which include all the base cards, like all of your basic lands, aka victory points, and uh, copper, silver, and gold. Um, we also have Dominion, the base game, the second edition, which they have also done for Intrigue, and I know they're doing for Seaside as well. They'll probably do second editions for all of these games, because it has been a huge moneymaker for Donald and Rio Grande games. I will say something that I really appreciate is that in all of the expansions they've kind of stuck and stayed in the universe of Dominion kind of being this feudal low fantasy space. They haven't tried to do any kind of you know Dominion in space or Dominion underwater. Um, that would be a weird kind of laser sharking um, which would have not been great for the IP. If you're unfamiliar with laser sharking, do check out our board game jargon definitions. Um, I will leave the link for laser sharking specifically in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching another Corax and Coffee unboxing video of Dominion Allies. I do hope they come out with another expansion. Time will tell. Do check out our other content on CoraxandCoffee.com. Like, subscribe, share, leave comments. Let us get to know you. Um, we would love to play games with you at the table now that we're coming out of the pandemic. We're not quite there, but we're close. Until next time, I'm your host, Pete Steele. Take care. All. <laughs>